The USS Pennsylvania, based at Bangor, Washington, nuclear powered, governed by the same engineering principles as the human powered What Sub Dog, based at the University of Washington, designed, built, and operated by students. They let me hop in there and pedal away. It's a sprint cycling race underwater. Dominic and Carol are the co-pilots of What yeah, Sub Dog, the University of Washington human-powered submarine team's latest entry in international competition. The sub is pedal-powered, the newest evolution by the UW team, which was born at the Applied Physics Lab back in the late 80s. The very first human-powered submarine was built at the APL, uh, and the team was comprised of, of APL engineers and scientists. Uh, so since then, it's actually become more of a mechanical engineering department activity, but uh, this last year I've taken on the responsibility of serving as their faculty advisor. Uh, so they've become, a, again, a part of the Applied Physics Laboratory. Big or not so big? Many of the operating principles are the same, despite the notable difference in size. The submarine going to competition this year is a single-person propeller. Uh, it's designed for output power of 800 watts from our pilot and it has a total internal volume of 0.4 cubic meters. Uh, so when it's underwater flooded, uh, we weigh just over 400 kilograms. In 1989, pedal power got the sub up to just under three knots. The goal for the 2016 competition? It's breaking seven knots this year with our male pilot, and we're trying to break six knots with our female pilot. It's a little bit cold and wet being inside the submarine because it's actually full of water, which is not the first thing that people think of when they think of submarines. New this year, a two-person sub built from Western Red Cedar. The two-person submarine, though, is uh, it's a whole different animal. As you can see, it's way larger. It's absolutely beautiful. The cool thing about that is that we get to work with the Northwest School for Wooden Boat Building and, and kind of tap into this Northwest tradition for wooden boats and the craftsmanship that they bring to their work. These students have designed, built, and now they're racing their submarines to be able to take them. They're pedaling these things in the prone position, so lying flat, uh, they're pedaling this around while on an aquiline. They're all university teams from around the world. The UW team is feeling pretty good about its chances at this year's competitions, thanks in large measure to the renewed collaboration between the UW mechanical engineering students on the sub-team and APL. We haven't been at APL since the early 90s, but getting back into that building and just having the presence of all the APL engineers around us uh, has been a huge benefit. We're actually sitting right alongside of APL scientists and engineers and, and getting that real-time interaction with folks that are, are doing real uh, professional activities in, in ocean engineering on a day-to-day -day basis. Probably the, the biggest thing I've learned is uh, keep it simple. They're exploring some new ways of doing things, some great innovative things, and uh, really kind of taking human-powered submarines to the next level. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.